you guys, welcome to Goss TV. I'm Sean O'Grady. And I'm Lisa McLaughlin. And we're here to give you a run through of today's top entertainment stories. So first up, California is coming back to our screens. Yes, apparently so. Uh, but with a completely different cast though, Sean. Yeah, so there was two series of before, then I got cancelled. So it looks like they're going to bring it back with just with a whole new people. So no one on it before will be on it again. It'll be completely brand new. No Marks, but... no Cormacs. Yeah, so we... Do you think we've missed that though? Um, no, I think it's good that they're gonna make it into a new cast. We don't really know much about it, like we don't know if they're gonna hold auditions or if they've already picked people for it or... I think it's just its first foray into the media just to let it know that it is coming back, so be prepared. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, do, 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 you think, do you think people watch it again or...? I think people will. People love a bit of Car Crash TV if I'm honest, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. And keeping with reality TV news, Keith Duffy has signed up for a new kind of cruise ship style reality show. <laughs> yeah, it's called Battle Chefs. Yeah, it sounds very exciting, a bit like Battle Chefs, but uh, yeah, no, we'll see. Apparently he'll be cooking on this with 10 other celebrities and then we'll... Yeah, yeah so what actually happens on it? Do they just kind of have a cook-off or...? Yeah, kind of. It's don't know too much about it yet, just know that he'll be with Alex James from Blur is going to be on it. He's going to be set in the middle of the Mediterranean and there's a captain that they have to cook for every week yeah. and he will choose who's the winner and then who will get kicked off, yeah, thrown so, off overboard, you know? Yeah, so it looks like he'll be the only <laughs> Irish person on it though, so hopefully you know, he does well. I don't know what his cooking I know, like, but, but he did also say, which is more exciting, was that boys and will be doing a tour of the Middle East. Yes. Come around St. Patrick's Day, so get ready for that. Yeah, and Shane Lynch did want boys on the West Side to get back together, but... Oh, don't be wrong. Probably not going to happen. Probably not. <laughs> and keeping with TV news, Caroline Moorhan has gotten a very cool role on a US TV show. Yeah, this is amazing news for her. She's going to be on Once Upon a Time. So that's a huge fantasy drama over in the US, so it's going to be amazing for her. Yeah, and do we know anything about like what kind of character she's going to be playing? Yeah, or... she plays Queen Eleanor, who's kind of taken from the film Brave. So yeah, it's, it's quite a big role. She'll be introduced on November 15th in like a two hour special, so that's all we've been told yeah. so far, but it's exciting, it's fair play to her. Yeah, because she's been over there now I think for how long, a few years I think, isn't it? Yeah, she's been based over there for quite some time, so it's good to see her breaking through, you know, getting a, a good strong role. Yeah, so hopefully it works out for her. Yeah, go on Caroline. And finally, Chris O'Dowd has made bank with his production company. <laughs> that he has. <laughs> he's, made, he's made nearly a half a million off of it. Now this is due probably partly to his Moonboy success, so yeah. Fair play, Chris. Share the wealth with us. Yeah, and Moonboy like looks that. like it's probably going to get a movie. It got about, I think, six or seven nominations at the IFTAs. I know, unfortunately, though, Chris didn't make the IFTAs. He didn't, but he's obviously too busy with his company to... I know, he, he was counted his pennies that night. That's the reason why he did Yeah. <laughs> That's where we <everyone. laughs> Well, that's all for today, guys. So for these stories and more, check out Goss.ie.